After completing the previous module, it's time to Interaction module. This tool defines the contacts between surfaces or between a region of a model and its surroundings. You can use the Interaction module to define analysis constraints between regions of a model, assembly level wire features, connector sections, and connector section assignments to model connectors, energia, point mass, rotary energia, and heat capacitance on regions of model, cracks on regions of the model, springs and dash pots between two points of a model or between a point of a model and ground. To explain this module, I've created two separate parts. As you see, these two shapes can be in contact with each other in three regions. Interactions could be activated or deactivated in some steps. The main point I mentioned in the assembly module is that mechanical contacts between surfaces or edges are considered only in the interaction module. To create an interaction from the types of selected steps list, select the interaction type and click continue. In a back as a standard, general contact can be defined only in the inner initial step, but in a back as explicit, you can define it in any analysis step or the initial step. General contact interactions allow you to define contact between many or all model regions with a single interaction. The general contact definition enables interactions between Lagrangian part surfaces and the surfaces of Eulerian material instances. Surface-to-surface -surface contact interactions describe contact between two deformable surfaces or between a deformable surface and a rigid surface. Self-contact interactions describe contact between different areas on a single surface. The fluid uh, cavity interaction allows you to select and assign properties to the model's liquid or gas field fluid cavity. The fluid exchange interaction allows you to define fluid movement between a cavity and the environment or between two cavities. The XFEM crack growth interaction allows you to activate or deactivate the growth of a crack. Cyclic symmetry enables you to model an entire 360 structure at a considerably reduced computational expense by analyzing only a single repetitive sector of a model. Elastic foundations allow you to model the stiffness and effects of a distributed support on a surface. You can create elastic foundation interactions only in the initial step. The actuator sensor interaction models a combination of sensors and actuators allowing for modeling control system components. This type of interaction allows sensing and actuating at just one point. Note that in the initial step only these modes can be used. Now, create a static step. Some other types will be usable, depending on the step type. For example, a model change interaction allows you to remove and reactivate elements during an analysis. Or the standard explicit co-simulation interaction defines the interface region and coupling schemes 
a foreign abacus standard to abacus explicit co-simulation. This can be created only in a general static implicit dynamic or explicit dynamic step. It is valid only a step in which it is created and it is not propagated to subsequent steps. You can simulate the pressure of a fluid penetrating between two surfaces involved in surface-to-surface -surface contact with pressure penetration. The fluid pressure is applied perpendicular to the surfaces. In most interactions module cases, you must create a master and slave surfaces. You must be careful to select the slave and master surfaces correctly in order to achieve the best possible contact simulation. The master surface should have greater elasticity modulus. There are only some specific options available in each step, such as cavity radiation interactions that describe heat transfer due to radiation in enclosures. Or film condition interactions define heating or cooling due to convection by surrounding fluids. You can define film condition interactions only during the a heat transfer, fully coupled thermal stress or coupled thermal electrical step. Radiation interactions describe heat transfer to a non-reflecting environment due to radiation. Two types of radiation are available. Surface irradiation interactions describe heat transfer with a non-concave surface and concentrated radiation uh, interactions represent radiation from nodes or vertices. Field structure co-simulation interaction includes the interaction of fluid and structure which is available in heat transfer implicit dynamic and explicit dynamic analysis. You can model incident wave interaction due to external acoustic wave sources. The incident wave is available in the following types of analysis implicit dynamic, explicit dynamic, direct steady state dynamic, and subspace based steady state dynamic. The last one is acoustic impedance. It specifies the relationship between the pressure of an acoustic medium and the normal motion at an acoustic structural interface. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners Training Package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors. You can create an interaction property by entering data in the Interaction Property Editor. Contact Interaction Property defines friction and elastic slip and hard, soft or damped contact and separation. In addition, contain information about damping, thermal conductance, thermal radiation and heat generation due to friction. The film condition interaction property defines the film coefficient as a function of temperature and field variables, and it can be referred to only by a film condition interaction. Cavity radiation interaction property defines emissivity for a cavity as a function of temperature and field variables. Acoustic impedance is defined as surface impedance, which is the proportionality factors between the pressure and the normal surface displacement and velocity components in acoustic analysis. The incident wave defines the speed of the incident wave and other characteristics of the wave loading. An actuator sensor provides the special variables that are passed into a UEL subroutine. So, we can create interaction property by contact type and the mechanical, thermal and electrical data can be assigned. For example, to assign friction coefficient, select mechanical, tangential behavior, penalty, if you want to assign them to surfaces, 
First, create an interaction with the general contact type and assign friction coefficient to it. Then, select the surface pairs to exclude from the contact domain. And select the surfaces that created earlier. Define constraints. In the interaction module, define the constraints on the analysis degrees of freedom. Tie constraint can fuse together two regions. To create a tie, it is better to have this part invisible. Then select a surface as master. For the slave surface, return to the previous part and make the other part invisible. And we can replace these surfaces with each other. The rigid body constraint allows you to constrain the motion of regions of the assembly to the motion of a reference point. The relative positions of the regions that are part of the rigid body remain constant throughout the analysis. A display body constraint allows you to select a part that will be used for display only. It isn't necessary to mesh the part instance and it is not included in the analysis. However, when you view the results in the visualization module, the chosen part is displayed. Coupling constrains the motion of a surface to the motion of a single point. Move a point or points onto a specified surface with a just points constraint. An MPC constraint allows you to constrain the motion of the slave nodes of a region to the motion of a single point. Shell to solid coupling couples the motion of a shell edge to the motion of an adjacent solid face. You can embed a model region within a host region of the model or within the whole model by embedded region constraint. And the equation constraint allows you to describe linear constraints between individual degrees of freedom. I delete all the existed interactions. You can find contact pairs using the Find Contact Pairs tool. This is a quick and easy way to find and define contact interactions in the model. Instead of selecting surfaces, we can click on the Find Contact Pairs option so all parts that can be in contact with each other will be visible. Using this tool, you can also create a connector section assignment 
connect two points. You can create a wire feature between two points or between a point and ground by Connector Builder. With this tool, you can create connector sections in three categories, Assembled, Complex, Basic, and MPC. Each one has several types and you can specify connector behaviors as well. In translational type, the accelerometer connection provides a convenient way to measure the relative position velocity and acceleration of a body in a local coordinate system and can only be used in 3D and explicit mode. Axial provides a connection between two nodes that act along the node's lines, which can be used to model axial shock absorbers or point-to-point -point contacts. Cartesian provides a connection between two nodes that allows independent behavior in three local Cartesian directions that follow the system at node A. Join joins the position of two nodes. Link provides a pinned rigid link between two nodes to keep the distance between the two nodes constant. Projection Cartesian or Proj Cartesian provides a connection between two nodes that allows independent behavior in three local Cartesian directions that follows the system at both nodes A and B. Radial thrust provides a connection between two nodes, allowing different behavior for radial and thrust displacements. It is used to model cylindrical bearings that respond differently to radial displacements. Slide plane provides a slide plane connection to make the position of the second node remain on a plane defined by the orientation of the first node and the initial position of the second node. Slot provides a slot connection to make the position of the second node remain on, the, on a line defined by the orientation of the first node and the initial position of the second node. Rotational basic connection components include a line which provides a connection between two nodes that aligns their local directions. Cardan provides a rotational connection between two nodes parameterized by Cardan angles. Constant velocity provides a constant velocity connection between two nodes. Euler provides a rotational connection between two nodes parameterized by Euler angles. Flexion torsion provides a connection between two nodes that allow different behavior for flexural and torsional rotations. Flow converter Converting the material flow at a connector node into a rotation used for modeling in seat belts or traction cables. The next one is projection flexion torsion, which is a connection between two nodes that allows different behavior for two flexural rotations and one torsional rotation. Next is a re revolute connection between two nodes like bolts. Rotation. The rotation vector parameterizes the rotational connection between two nodes. Rotation accelerometer is a connection between two nodes to measure the relative angular acceleration, velocity, and position of a body in a local coordinate system. Universal provides a global connection between the two nodes. The rotations are fixed about one local direction and free about two others. If you change the category to assembled complex types of connections can be selected. Assembled connections are predefined translational and rotational or specialized rotational combinations. The first case is beam, a rigid beam connection between two nodes. The beam is a combination of join plus a line. This part of assembled complex can create a combination of several basic modes. The next is a bush connections between two nodes which is a combination of projection 
a Cartesian plus projection flexion torsion. CV joint join the position of two nodes and provide a constant velocity connection between their rotational degrees of freedom. Cylindrical is a combination of slot plus revolute. The hinge acts like a bed hinge that is present in all homes and provides a revolute connection between their rotational degrees of freedom. The planar connection creates a local two-dimensional system in three-dimensional analysis. Retractor join the position of two nodes and convert material flow into rotation. Join plus flow converter. Slip ring is used to model an automotive seat belt. Translator is a combination of slot plus a line. U joint is a combination of joint plus universal. Weld provides welding or joins the position of two nodes. MPC is the next connection category, includes beam, which constrains the displacement and rotation between two nodes. Time makes all active degrees of freedom equal at two nodes. The link provides a pinned rigid link between two nodes to keep the distance between the two nodes constant. Pin, this MPC makes the displacements equal between two nodes. Elbow con constrains two nodes of elements together. We use user defined for subroutine. To show an example, we select one of these modes. Here, different behaviors can be seen. One is elasticity, which is used to define elastic behavior such as a spring. The next behavior is damping, which can be defined as the dash pot here. Friction is to define frictional behavior. Plasticity for plastic behavior, damage is used to define the initial damage and its evolution. In a stop, the admissible position of one body relative to the other is limited by a certain range. Lock is to define locking feature. Failure is to define a limit value for force, torque and position. You can define the translational or angular positions at which constitutive forces and moments are zero for the available components of relative motion by reference length. Using integration, you can specify implicit or explicit time integration for plus elasticity, damping and friction in an abacus explicit analysis. The last part discussed in this section is uh, fasteners. You can create discrete fasteners in the interaction module by selecting the attachment lines that connect the desired surfaces. Which the first is a point-based connection and is used only for 3D models, second is discrete and the third is assembled connection. This is a small part of the Abacus for Beginners Training Package. There is a lot more valuable information in other parts of this package that you can get on our website. We suggest you do your project by saving your time and getting basic in training so that you don't get tired of Abacus errors.